Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I am here with Senior Pastor Will Davis Hi, friends. Jr. Hi, Lauren. I am so glad that you are back from Woo-hoo! your sabbatical. I'm glad to be back. I know you are. I was driving people crazy. <laughs> I was driving my wife crazy. I was driving myself crazy. Yes, I'm glad to be back. So I'm just going to come right out of the gate with this. Some people have asked, when you were going on sabbatical, when you came back, were you considering retirement, or do you feel like huh. you've got some more time left in your I wasn't pastorship? seriously considering it. Um, we had to ask the question, because I'm 30 years into ACF, and my biggest fear is overstaying my effectiveness here. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be that guy that the church is kind of going, hey, take more time off. Yeah. Um, so we prayed about it, but I in no way feel released from the church. Uh, I, I don't think my work here is done. I think my role is going to continue to change. It's changed every year for 30 years. It'll continue to change. We need to invest in younger leaders. We need to invest in younger teachers. And I need to be part of that process investing. But I don't feel like, Susan, neither Susie nor I feel like, our assignment here is done. Mm-hmm. So I don't have a end date in mind. I don't have a, an exit strategy yet. So as of right now, you're stuck. Good. And the elders have been kind enough mm-hmm. to say, okay, you get to stay. Yeah. Because I had to submit to them. And I, I'm not guaranteed a job here at all. And the elders don't feel like I'm done either. So mm-hmm. we're here for a while. Good. I think a lot of people will be really glad to hear that. Because I don't know why they like you, but people seem to uh, like you a little overrated. bit. Overrated. <laughs> overrated. Tell us though, you're three months off. What did you what did God tell you? What did you hear? It was an interesting summer, Lauren. Uh, June was about the scales coming off. Ministry um, is hard. Leadership's mm-hmm. hard. And um, June was about kind of letting some of the wounds and pressures of stuff that I carry in my job kind of come out like um, almost like a disease leading my body. So I really kind of broke, hit hard bottom in June with a little bit of despair and exhaustion. July was um, regrouping in the Word, and I was in the Word the whole time, but July was I had some momentum back, and I was beginning to get perspective back and beginning to hear the Lord better. And then August was, okay, on your mark, get set. Mm -hmm. It was regrouping. Here we go. Let's get back to ACF. I'm foaming at the mouth this time. So that was the summer. I heard, I've got a list of things the Lord said to me through the word that I will um, inflict on you guys at some Mm -hmm. point uh, that I haven't had a chance to share yet. It was, I learned, I learned so much, but really people have said, what's new going to be new for ACF? And my answer has been nothing. Mm -hmm. I did. I don't feel that it take us any different directions. I think we need to heat up and reheat giving Mm -hmm. as a congregation, both personally and us being a generous church, still aiming for 50% every year, serving. We have Mm -hmm. some holes in our serving communities. Uh, Missions, giving and going are hot, hot values. There's some things God raised up a few years ago, like should we help the homeless, which is involved into what do we do with young women aging out of foster care that Mm -hmm. are pregnant that might be homeless. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where it's gone. We're going to address that. Um, Obviously, being a voice for right and good and Jesus in the city is mm-hmm. still high on my list. So that was the sabbatical. Nothing new, nothing let's, let's change ACF. It's just let's keep things hot and know what my role is and know what my role isn't. So you things. would say you came back recharged, ready to hit the ground running, re-energized. 100%. Awesome. 100%. I'm, I'm humbled to get to do this. It's a great church. I have a great team, I have great leaders, and I, Susie and I consider ourselves blessed to still be a part of it, and every day we get to, we're going to mm-hmm. thank God for it. Awesome. Well, thank you so a, much. And I want to thank the church for allowing me to have the break. Um, it, it's Leaders need it, and not just leaders in ministry, but ministry leaders definitely need it, and I was ready for a break, and um, it gave me the chance to listen, and God has said, stay in it, so here we are. Awesome. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Thank you so much for your transparency. We are glad you are back. And I'm eager to see what the coming months... I would like for there to be something like, oh, new and exciting, well, something you, we're going to enact. You never know. So we'll, we'll see. Well, I pray, I'm, I'm in the <laughs> prayer barn every day listening, so we'll see. You have been in the prayer barn even when you were on your sabbatical. I was. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I really didn't like skipping prayer. I need, I need that. Mm-hmm. I need that prayer barn. I'm going to say it to the whole church. I, I phoned in a lot during mm-hmm. my sabbatical. Because I didn't like missing it. It's not good for my soul. 
So yeah, I was I was not the most well behaved pastor on sabbatical as far as <laughs> don't show up at Texting, the church. I was emailing. I was kind of hovering. Yeah. I was kind of hovering. Wow. But it was, I love you guys, so why not? Yeah, well, we love you. So welcome back. Excited to see what the coming months hold. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we will look forward to seeing you next week.